Thank you. Thank you so much. Good desk, Vietnam. Uh, <laughs> welcome to welcome to the Long Shot. It is a podcast. I am one of your hosts. My name is Sean Conroy. Um, my co-host, always as always, the other host. Not a co-host. Co-host sounds like less than. The other host is <laughs> Amber Kenny. Is here. Hello, excuse me. I think I have allergies or something. I can't stop sniffling suddenly. Well, at least you don't have a protruding forehead that makes you look like a ghost, which I am currently. Oh, I was like, excuse me? No, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> you don't have that, you know? Just put some bronzer on that bad boy. It'll yeah, recede yeah. to the yeah. background. Right. Um, well, everybody, this is The Long Shot. It is a podcast i feel like i had something i wanted to talk about before we even started but of course now it's completely escaping me did you watch Andor by any chance on uh disney plus no because hmm. it just it was one of those things where i just noticed it was trending on uh twitter x what, what used to be called twitter it's mm-hmm. now called the uh, x and I can't figure out why. Like, I loved the show, and I was like, oh, there must be a new... Uh, and and then it was just, like, all kinds of stuff about how it was about fascism and stuff. And I was like, oh, I guess there's not a new uh, not a new episode. People just figured that out. Um, I have something to talk about on social media before we dive in. Mm-hmm. I was served today a TikTok. Wait, wait, wait. But- wait till we check in. Okay, never mind. Yes. <laughs> I know. I know where you're going, but I don't want to get there. Um, well, let's. Uh, we're gonna, we always start the show with a segment that we call checking in. So let's start today with, with you. Uh, <laughs> all right, fine. Uh, so tell us about this happening on TikTok that you had today. I I was surprised and delighted to be served a tiktok from the one the only sean conroy telling me um tips and tricks on writing my very own pilot and i was i don't i could be wrong about this but i feel like you were not on tiktok because you would always talk about things that you saw on instagram like six months later that was a tiktok trend so is this a new development uh yes, I think I had an account or maybe two accounts that you I were a, started. a lurker. No, but I didn't even look. Like I didn't go there. I, uh, I, I, you know, I was like a, uh, you know, I was like a guy who lived under the bridge, four hundred yards away, who knew it was there but never went by. You know, um, the, yeah, what like like one of those guys? Yeah, that <laughs> you know, old classic. A troll, a troll <laughs> who lived under the bridge. Uh, well, let me ask you this, because I, I, I think the way you said it strikes me. Number one, why were you surprised? And number two, why were you delighted? Okay. Um, I was surprised because I didn't think that you were on TikTok. Uh-huh. And it wasn't just, it felt like, damn, I feel like there's no way out of this. You're like you can say you weren't actually delighted. You just put those two words together. If that's what you. No, I was delighted. I was delighted. I was absolutely delighted. But I was surprised because I didn't think you were gonna. You were on it, but also, it wasn't just like I've posted a couple TikToks, but they're like real just shit ball. Like hey everybody, I'm wearing a penguin costume. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't on my TikTok account, oh, okay. but yes, but like yeah. If I felt moved in the moment, I would post something. But I like, I I didn't have good lighting or good make. Like I, yours looked like you were making content. Like it was, it felt very intentional. Yes, it felt like somebody put a gun to your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that kind of. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! What happened here? Are you running currently? I was. Yeah. <laughs> I always forget to turn the fucking thing on after I've been back in the house. It's always like, and it's this weird thing where it will, it will list like 25 things and it cannot be stopped. It's like time, one hour distance, 11 miles, speed, (laughs) 
14 seconds per mile. <laughs> Anticipated time of finish, two hours. Right. You're just like, hey, cadence, up. elevation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, humidity, 84%. Shut <laughs> up. Breakfast sandwich favorites, bacon and <laughs> eggs. Um, it's a fucking app. Shut up. I don't care. Uh, so it felt intentional to you when you looked yeah, at it. Yeah, it felt like someone who knew what they were doing. It felt like you had prepared what you were going to say ahead of time. Now, is that you the had- surprising part or is that de- the delighted part? Like, yeah. you're surprised that I knew what I was doing. <laughs> No, what I mean is like, uh, it's not like, oh my God, I'm, I'm dead. I'm so surprised. But, uh-huh. um, but that like you clearly put together a social media strategy and implemented it. And that's surprising in the sense that you weren't even on TikTok before. And here you are. This was my grand entrance. Now you're a creator. I'm going to have to offer you a contract to promote the next DreamWorks movie. Right. And um, yeah. I, I mean, you know, who knows what happens, but yes, I, I, had I feel a- like your website was like listed yeah, at the, at the in the bottom yeah. and in a good position. Cause I know a lot of people put text at the bottom and then the TikTok UI, I don't know, UX, I don't know what you call it, but like it, the oh, AI, it, it, aye, 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 aye. just the, the buttons that are normally on TikTok mm-hmm. can TikTok cover app. up. It will. I've seen people who it, like it. In theory, it's a great TikTok, but then all the buttons cover up the words. Is what I'm trying to say. And yours didn't do that. It looked intentional. It looked smart. It looked fresh. It looked hot. It looked happening. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Surprised and delighted, Amber Kenny. Fresh, hot, and happening. Also, Amber Kenny. <laughs> Yeah, I I mean I've been talking with I've been talking with social media people for a while about you know putting just having con doing content of some sort and uh, and then I was talking to somebody who uh, who I've worked with a lot who is just like just amazing like what. Th- just the most incredibly support. Somebody took my class at one point and literally says to me, every person should take your class at some Aww, point. Oh, um, that's so sweet. Yeah. And and uh, and I was talking to her about classes and how do I get more people to come in? And, and she was like, let's do this. So she has been step by. I mean, she literally, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you the whole thing. Yeah. That's what I, we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, welcome to the wrong shot. I'm going to hold back. Um, no, she literally, I, I, I woke up one day and I got two videos edited together that were her saying, hi, I'm Sean Conroy and this is what I do and this is what I, she oh, did like, the whole, like, like, a demo like, demo for version. You? Yeah. I guess demo is a more polite way of saying it, not dummy version, because she was just demoing. And she was like, this is the kind of thing you want to do to get people to whatever, whatever. And I could, first of all, I couldn't believe that she did that because she probably spent, you know, an hour making those two videos, which it just like, <laughs> it just touched my heart, you know? Yeah, it's so um, sweet. And, uh, and they were good. They were good. They were good. I was like, there's no way I can ever do this as well as can you be me from now on, um, <laughs> both in TikTok and in life. Uh, but, but so she, so she is kind of walking me through the process and helping with, with this stuff. And, um, and, and, there, and there's other people I know who are like paying attention to it and going like, here's something to think about and whatever. Like I did, <laughs> here's, <laughs> People should learn from my mistakes. That's one of the things that I am trying to put out there on this. Because, yeah, here here's one of the things. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of ideas happening. <laughs> I, just, I like it. This is normally how I talk. <laughs> 25 different sentences is the first two words. Look, here's the, you know what? Okay. Um, 
No, I mean, one of the things you have to do when you become an influencer like I have. Oh, I've boy. Are you going to move into one of those mansions in the Hollywood <laughs> yes. Hills? <laughs> yes, I'm going to start doing ketamine. Um, but this, I mean, this is so, who gives a shit? But you're a social media person, so you know all this stuff. I was retired, but yes. Were you retired. Congratulations. <laughs> um, but it's like, what's your niche? What are you promoting? You want to have like a hyper specific audience. And so, and I never want to make those kind of decisions, but it was like, well, this is a thing that I do on a regular basis. I teach people how to write sitcom pilots. So why not make it about that? And then I can incorporate all the other things I want to do, even just do bits or, or clips from this ridiculous nonsense or whatever putting that out there as well but all under the guise of this is a guy who teaches writing classes so take his listen to him his writing classes and that's very scary to me because i guess it's imposter syndrome where you're like what right do i have Mm -hmm. to uh uh to do this oh but anyway this was the initial thing i was going to say is so I have this friend who's helping with it, but another friend who's like a social media person and they watched uh, first. Okay. So here's the thing. (laughs) There's so much to this. Um, I came up chronological order. I don't know. (laughs) There's so many pieces that all fit because it was like this happened. Then Ah. a couple other things happened. Then this other thing happened. So what happened was, it was like, oh, let's have a plan to do this. Let's have a plan to make a bunch of these. And it was like, okay, set up the lights, set up the location. What does it look like? What's the whatever? Is this okay? And and here was the mistake I made was I did all that and I didn't, first of all, I didn't check with anybody mm-hmm. and have somebody else, get somebody else's eye on. And I had misgivings about a couple of aspects of it, but I was like, oh, who cares? What's the big deal? I'm just going to forge ahead. And then you got sued. (laughs) And no, but what I did was the first time I sat down to do it. So each of these things is like a minute maybe, or a minute Mm -hmm. and 10 seconds, a minute, I don't know, a minute and 11 seconds, a minute and 112. Yeah, we get it. (laughs) And, and I was like, I'll just make 17 the first time I sit down. So uh, I made 17 of them on the first day. And you're all wearing the entire same outfit. Day, you know, uh, no, no, no. I'm not wearing the same outfit. Okay. That much I was anticipatory of. Anticip- I anticipated that. Um, I switched outfits a couple of times. Not every time. You know, I don't want to make it look like I'm getting dressed up every time I go to record a fucking thing. You're not Mariah Carey doing costume changes during her MTV Cribs episode, which is right. iconic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm not. I'm more like a uh, big boy during his Cribs episode <laughs> where he said, this is where I make my kids at and pointed to his bed. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but no, that was not the problem. The, uh, the outfit was not the problem. It was first of all, it was that I made that many all at once because that was like an entire day's worth of work, you know, mm-hmm. of like coming up with the thing and whatever and this and that and recording it and re-recording it and not get, because one of the things that's obviously you know this because you're on TikTok, you have to be casual about these things. You mm-hmm. can't like read from a script, you know. Um, and and so I had these ideas, but then I would like fuck up the wording or forget to say something or so I'd re-record it. So recording 17 of them four or five times, if you do the math on that, and if each of them is a minute and 13 seconds, a minute 13, a minute 14, mm. somewhere in that area. Going up, 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 up. <laughs> it's hours of time spent doing this. And what I realized when I showed it to somebody was that my misgivings were well-founded. Oh, no. That it was just a couple of things. It was, I I had done it right here. I was sitting right here. Mm -hmm. But with 
for whatever reason, the camera, I mean, this doesn't look bad the way it is, but the way it was set up, I had the ring, the ring camera, the ring, you know, the ring thing. Ring light. I had that with the camera in it and it made it so that like I was right here and then there was like this much space above my head. So Mm -hmm. it was just too much of like, oh, look, there's his ceiling, you know, and the other. Because also right now we're horizontal and TikTok is vertical. So you're going to have. Right. So that was a problem. And then on top of that. (laughs) <laughs> you're not supposed to be reading something. You're supposed to be looking right into the camera. And I was using the the camera on the front of the phone without realizing that the camera is at the top of the phone, not in the middle. So I was like looking at myself and it uh. looked like I was looking down and like looking at something, you know? So I just had to toss 17 of them and go. No. Starting over, yeah. Oh, and here was the third thing is, look, let's be honest. I'm a bit of a mope, okay? I'm not the most high-energy person in the history of the world, especially when I am talking to a camera with no response from anyone. Right, right, right. And I know and, that's... And that's, you've done 16 of them already, like... Well, that yeah, that was another issue. But, like, you know, it's why I never did commercials. I got I booked, like, one commercial because as soon as I get in front of the camera, I'm like... Hey, you know, like low, and I know it's a problem for everybody, but I, but I, but I'm special. It's a bigger problem for me. Um, <laughs> there's no way to get around it. But anyway, so I had to toss all of those after I talked to my friend, and who was not saying like get rid of all of that, but was just like think about this, think about this, think about this. And I said, well, I think I should do them all over again. And they were like, don't do them all over again. Just be aware. But I was like, no, no, no. So I reshot yesterday and today everything I had done the first time and a bunch of other ones and started uh, uh, posting them. And it's fucking scary. Like, it is scary because I am saying I know what I'm talking about. You need to listen to me. Now, that is what my classes are about is, Mm -hmm. is, is that. But, like, putting it out to the world like this is... I just know that there are people who actively hunt for anybody who thinks they know what they're talking about to say you're wrong about this. So I'm I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the uh, the backlash, you know. Um, but then here's the other part of all of this is that I you know how like <laughs> I mean I know you know this, so I'm just gonna say it anyway. Uh, you, you say something and every the, the computer's listening to everything you say and it starts like pushing stuff that you that like mm-hmm. it's like you go, you go like what what would it be like if i made a sandwich out of sandpaper and then the next day you get an ad that's like make the best sandpaper sandwiches <laughs> and uh so i was talking about writing and whatever and whatever the case something on twitter or or X, what used to be Twitter, pushed to me something called daily writing tips. This Mm. is a Twitter account that lots of people follow with tips on writing every day. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Let me, um, let me take a look at some of their, some of their tips. So can I, can I, is it okay if I read some of the, some of the tips? Yeah. Let me see if I can see it. Um, Okay, here's here's one tip, and it says, want to stand out and be more articulate? It's as easy as choosing the right words. That is the definition of articulate. (laughs) Explore the magic of upgrading basic English to a more sophisticated level and see how it can enhance your communication. And then it has a chart of... How you say something in basic English. Oh, no. And how you say something in advanced English. So a a, a basic person like you or myself would say. Sure. A lowly peasant. I'm sorry, but I can't make it to the meeting. Mm Mm-hmm. Snore. I regret to say that I can't attend the meeting. 
so much better, right? Like it's so much more. <laughs> but that's also not like a writing tip. It's like a writing a business email tip. Like it's not. I don't know. I feel like when I read, let me give you. Are you going to add this to your novel? You're not, you're not a hundred percent on board. So I'm going to do a couple more because they really, so she's really good at solving problems. Too basic. Yeah. You sound like the Hoi Polloi. You sound like you live in a, in a tenement building in the Bronx in 1920. She's really good at solving problems. She's excellent at problem solving. (laughs) Yes. It's really not that. It just elevates the discourse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I suppose. It's hot outside today. Oh, no. Is it warm? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's quite warm out today. Which, by the way, is not the same it's thing. It's lesser. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> He's a great teacher. He's an outstanding teacher. Like that's just one, one synonym. Uh, <clears throat> I don't understand what you mean. I can't grasp your point. The, okay, here's what we'll do. Okay. <clears throat> I'll give Can you the, guess. Guess what the elevation is. <clears throat> I'll give yeah. I'll give you the the sentence and you. Okay. See what you, okay. Okay. The food is delicious. That meal was scrumptious. (laughs) The food is very tasty. (laughs) Big of a word. They like downgraded. I feel like yours was so much better. They're like yum yum in my tum tum. Right. (laughs) Uh, she's a very talented musician. She's extremely proficient at musical arts. There's no way that's what it says, but I'm I'm playing the game. She's a highly skilled musician. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are they one, trying to accomplish? Here's one. This is this is what I'm going to put in your work evaluation and i want i want you to elevate the language so what i would put is she's very good at managing projects okay she excels at project management bingo (laughs) i'm starting to get the matter (laughs) that's exactly right vanna show amber what we have (laughs) um She's very knowledgeable about history. I appreciate that it's so um, women oh, forward. That's but I, that's me. I'm changing all of them. Okay. She is very knowledgeable I'm about history. patriarchy, just so you're clear. <laughs> Thanks. I'm uh, crystal. Crystal clear. <laughs> Wait, can I say something really quick about that? Uh-huh. This is just a side note. Yeah. We were at work. I was talking to my boss and... Um, we were talking about different preschool shows and like the toys. Anyway, he was like, have you ever noticed that when they say kid shows, it means boy? That like boy is the default? He said it like in this setting. And I was like, I have noticed that my entire life. And he's like, oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I mean, uh, look, who counts and who doesn't count, you know? There's girls and there's kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So wait, say it for me one more time because I got distracted. She's very knowledgeable about history. She's quite the historian. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> she possesses extensive knowledge of history. Okay. They because they like quite. They said quite a couple times in some of the elevated versions. Yeah, quite just elevates everything. You're suddenly British or whatever. uh, Well, here's this is actually giving the lie to what we just said because here's the basic English sentence. Okay. The presentation was quite boring. Oh, no. Okay. The presentation lacked entertainment value. 
<laughs> I wish it was that because I like that. But this is lit. Okay, so here it is. The presentation was quite boring. Uh -huh. the Here's the advanced version. The presentation was rather uninteresting. I guess. It, 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 but it's like, it's just. It's like, all the, it's like on words. par. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like bigger yeah. or harder words. It just feels like the same. It feels lateral, a lateral move. Um, yeah. I mean, so anyway, I was like, if those people can say, hey, we're putting out daily writing. Yeah. No, you're good. You're uh, good. Uh, because it's like. They had, okay, here's one. Body parts as metaphor. To head. To be at the head of. To lead. Uh-huh. She made a bold decision to head towards new adventures. That's a body part as metaphor. To I. To consider with a view to acquisition or development. <laughs> He needed time to eye the intricate details of the contract. To finger. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Imagine that was that was one of the <laughs> It's like to be on a sleepover with Jerry <laughs> Flap. <laughs> to finger. <laughs> buy two tickets to finger <laughs> What is this? I'm, I'm not following that. <laughs> I don't know if that's a metaphor. Um, so anyway, I, I am now a TikTok influencer. I'm very nervous about you. it. Uh, it was interesting, too, because I think two videos were posted today. And one of them got, you know, 200 views and one of them got a thousand views. And it's just like, I, I think that's part of the whole game, right? Is figuring out. Why does one get more than the other? And how do you know? You can't figure that I out. I mean, it is, but yeah, don't work, don't spend too many, don't burn too many calories doing oh, that because believe me, I am not going to. I because can't. the algorithm just does its thing. It feels like it's there's no rhyme or reason. Mm -hmm. And that one that got less views, it might get served out in two months and then get more views than your other videos. A like a million views. Yeah. I feel like just do you focus on creating stuff that feels authentic to you and what you want to say to the world? There's, there's something about this, but I can't finger it. <laughs> or, I, no, I can't quite... put my finger on it. <laughs> it's quite boring. <laughs> no, that's the boring way of saying it. You have to say rather uninteresting. Um, so I'm hoping to, uh, uh, put out a bunch of that stuff and keep doing that because I have a lot to say about writing and the writing process, which is another whole funny thing, but I'm also hoping I can put up like, you know, little clips from my, uh, the podcast I do called Butler did it where I just examine the movies of Gerard Butler and which ones <laughs> he's in an American accent in and which ones he speaks in the sky. Is that really your podcast? I want to, be, I want to have that be a thing, like not, uh -huh. but like literally. That's a podcast in yeah. like a movie. Like it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to another edition of Butler did it. Jerry did a <laughs> movie. Again, it was about a bunch of criminals and he's one of them. I mean, he's always in movies about criminals and he's always speaking. Uh -huh. The guy has been in more movies than, I don't know, Humphrey Bogart, Cary Grant and and Sean Penn put together. Like every, wow. he's like that at that level of Hollywood stardom where he's not huge, but he's big but he's enough in to everything. Be headline a movie. So he's in every and apparently he'll do everything. But it's also like he's clearly. <laughs> It's true. I am so <laughs> jealous of his career. But he's also one of those guys who came from Scotland so that when he plays an American character, he's oh, like, it's like, shut the door. I have to go drive the car back to the bank <laughs> and get the guns and get the money. For whatever reason, um, I always call it shut the door. Because <laughs> the, they love hitting that R. They get so excited to.
Um, yeah, it sounds very, very, which I'm sure does not happen when an American speaks with an English accent. Oh, no, we're perfect every time. Nail it, kill it. Um, I was just going to say something. Oh, I know that you are much less woo-woo than I am uh, generally, but I also think just now you are continually stating aloud to the universe, to the world, to yourself that you are an expert, that you are good at writing, and that you have something to share. And I I don't think that's going to hurt. Like, I think that's good. You know what I'm saying? I do. I do. And I think that's why it's scary. But I'm also mm-hmm. like, I've been doing this for so long, you know? And I do know that I have uh, a lot of pens. I can write, you know? Rather quite a lot of pens. <laughs> An inordinate number of pens. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is. It's, it's, I don't know. But that's also, that's what I was going to say is I'm giving these tips and then I'm like turning off the thing and going, you know, I should do that. <laughs> like, well, I, here's the big one is if you want to be a writer, it's like, mm-hmm. The thing I said on TikTok, it's not out yet. Folks, look for it on TikTok. Oh, wow. Way, We've got an exclusive. <laughs> Sean Conroy Wright is my TikTok <laughs> thing. W-R-I-T-E. See, even now, like I'm, I'm, I'm saying the name of it, but like it's confusing because you go Sean Conroy Wright and people go, is it right? Like, like Robin Wright, Wright Penn. Or is it like... <laughs> Like like Rufus Wainwright or or, or is it, why would it be or is it right like like the right, right like right age? yeah <laughs> there's like four different versions of right anyway it's W R I T E like the thing I'm saying I know how to do but one of the things I said which has not come out yet so look for it on my TikTok sign up. Follow me, like my posts, you know, do all the, mm-hmm. and, uh. Hit that like button, subscribe. <laughs> do you have a link tree? I don't. I should get a link tree. You got a, you got, oh, you got to get a link tree. Yeah. Do they sell those at a, at a, is it one of those things where they put a bunch of them in a parking lot somewhere? Yes, <laughs> around Christmas time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I would end up with this skinny little one that didn't fit a lot of stuff on it. Um. <laughs> But well, just I want to make sure that if people do find you and are inspired, they can find all of your various projects and support you and take your classes and all of that great stuff. I, I and agree. listen to our podcast. Yeah, no, I mean, all kidding aside. <laughs> and then they'll be like, just kidding. <laughs> Unfollow. He is reading uh, tweets. No, I was. I was doing... his sentences. Uh-huh. I don't know if I should take his writing class. <laughs> His his reading of various tweets from X is quite confusing. <laughs> and rather unnecessary. <laughs> um, but one of the things I said, I made a video about it, a TikTok uh, film, a short thing about, <laughs> about how you need to treat writing like going to the doctor or going to the gym. Like make an appointment, Just like has to don't happen. miss it consistently every day. Do it, do it. And I don't do that. Like I say that to people all the time because it is about consistency, not about I have this genius idea mm-hmm. and I'm going to write this genius thing. Yeah, sitting around waiting to be inspired. It's like showing up, you know. Mm-hmm. You just keep showing up. And I said that yesterday, I recorded it and I turned it off and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, but it is something to aspire to. So anyway, I called and made a doctor's appointment after I did that one. So. <laughs> and brush your teeth. Um, I, I think that that is also a valid, like if you have a laundry list of reasons why you are doing these TikToks, I think that's a valid one. It, For myself. If nothing, yeah. If nothing else to remind like a active reminder to do these things man i feel better i was going to delete my account today but now i feel better about it after talking to you because i was so surprised and delighted (laughs) (laughs) i mean i get delighted and surprised well i was gonna send it to you and then i was like wait he knows he has it (laughs) and (laughs) and 
I'll talk to him later. So I think we're okay. There are a couple of things out there on TikTok that I am in. I can't even. Oh, there's a there's a clip from uh, an episode of the Goldbergs that I was on uh -huh. years ago. Uh -huh. I played a um, like a sky cap at the airport. And okay. I think I had one line and somehow that clip is floating around TikTok somewhere. So, you know, if you see that, send it to me because I'd like to take a look at it. I haven't. Okay. It. It's, it'll be pretty easy. There's only a couple Gold TikToks on okay. TikTok. So yes. like the odds are I'll, I'll, it'll hit me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm on Goldberg talk. <laughs> Goldberg. <laughs> Uh, I remembered now what I wanted to talk about at the beginning of the show, but I'll save it for parting shots. Uh, so anyway, I'm on TikTok, folks. Follow me on TikTok. Amber thinks it's going to be good for me internally and externally, and I hope she's right because I could use both of those things. And she knows what she's talking about. Oh, my God. I can't believe I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, about some, some things. Totally. And I would say don't look at – I don't know what your other social media people are saying, so I don't want to contradict them. But I personally, for you and for the situation, wouldn't get super hung up on the analytics and like yeah. how many followers, how many likes, how right. many views, because it, it, it's 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 almost like the the writing tip that you said. It's just like showing up, mm -hmm. and um, you can get discouraged or weirdly vain about it. And right. that's not the point because you also might be trying to target a relatively small audience. And as long as you have them or, and are captivated, it it doesn't need to be a million people if it's the right people who um, you need to reach. Anyway, Right. I mean, I, yeah, I think you're exactly right. The only thing I will say is it is my goal <laughs> to have a boxing match with Jake Paul. So sure. I, hope, I hope I can get to that. That would be quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That would be verifiably mentally ill. <laughs> totally crazy. Um, all right. Amber, uh, uh, checking in. What's going on? Yeah, um, my vacation is over as of today. Wah, wah. I had to go back to work. Um, but it was freaking lovely. I talked to you last on the first day of my official vacation, and I went to the Korean Day Spa. And I truly was a we were staring at people the whole time. Yes. <laughs> and drooling. Um, but uh I was I truly was a little bit nervous because in times past, I think we're all we've all been there. It's human nature of like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, it's gonna be great. And then you look up and you're like, I just watched TV for four days. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Um and I was very, very proud of myself because I did I I stayed in the middle of that pendulum, I guess. I didn't like run around and and get myself so busy that it wasn't a restful vacation. But I also didn't just stare at my phone and TikTok for a week. Like I had something planned every day. And I well, that's the one I, I got to I was free, I, by the way. I was well, whatever. <laughs> I mo I I took Abby out for her birthday for lunch. I got a haircut. Like my one thing a day. Sometimes the bar was very very low. Um, I do feel like LA is a place where accomplishing one thing over the course of the day is a huge deal. Well, and even like the day I went to lunch with Abby, I came back and I was like, oh, I guess I should do other things. And I was like, I'm so tired. I'm just going to lay down for a second. And I allowed myself to, and it was great. Um, and then this weekend we went to Palm Springs for my friend Charlie's wedding. And that was great. But getting there is such a fucking ordeal. Um, Cause I don't even know the distance actually, but in two theory, hours. two hours is the distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, it was a little bit more than two hours for me because on Friday, <clears throat> we had to go drop Smudgy off at my brother's house, which is like on the way. Bullshit. 
but he also lives at the top of a mountain. So his house is technically not on the way to anything except for his neighbor's house. It's on the way to the moon. Right. <laughs> Meow. Anyway. Um, so a lot of he, cats around today. Yeah. Um, so also he was working Friday. He's a normal human being. So he wasn't going to even be home until like 430. So it meant that we left our house at 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. Worst, worst, like hot tip for anyone visiting Los Angeles or Southern California. Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. is not a good time. Don't do what I did. Don't try to go anywhere at Friday at 2 p.m. Um, so we were in completely stop traffic. It took us three hours to get to my brother's house. We dropped off Smudgy, and then it took another two, two and a half hours to get to Palm Springs from there. It was just like we were completely losing our minds, to be quite honest. But it's tough. Uh, it's tough. <clears throat> but you guys have traveled together quite a bit at this point. Yes, yes. No, we weren't like fighting. We were okay. It was just like, when will this end? Is there any open site? Um, we stopped outside of uh, Palm Springs. You know where the dinosaurs are? Nope. You've never been? I've been to Palm Springs. I haven't been to the dinosaurs. Don't know what to tell you. I ha- I mean, you can see them from the front. What do they have? Do they have a Stegosaurus? It's like a... Brontosaurus rex, Compsognathagus? I think it's a Brontosaurus and a T-Rex. Hmm. But don't quote me on it. Okay. And she said, quote, unquote, I think... <laughs> um, but I, we didn't go there. I just was saying that general area. Anyway, we stopped... At, and in my head, it was like, we're starting our vacation. We're, you know, we don't get a lot of. So it was the end of the week. You were like, we're starting our vacation. Yeah. Well, our vacation. He worked the whole week. Yeah, yeah. Um, And, you know, Smudgy was with a babysitter. That doesn't happen very often. So in my head, I was like, oh, like maybe we'll go out to a nice dinner. And we. At 11 o'clock at night. Well, it cut to us at like 7 p.m. exhausted, just shoveling Chipotle in our mouths. Um, I do love Chipotle, though. Like 20 minutes outside of Palm Springs. But it was like, we made the right choice, though, actually. Because that low blood sugar, long drive. Lack of food contributes to a lot of things. Like what? (laughs) it's Thin, thinness yeah. thinness yeah i it makes me not happy it makes me not a nice person and we got to our hotel we checked in and the whole not the whole point but a big point of why we were going down friday for the saturday um wedding was that there was welcome drinks we were invited to and i was like yeah let's let's go um and so we we're exhausted. We set our stuff down. And I'm like, okay, let me look to see where these welcome drinks are. Surely they are either at this can hotel. I, can I guess? <laughs> yes. It was at your brother's house. Yeah. Basically. I I was like, surely it's either at this hotel or like walking distance across the street. Right. And we looked it up and it was like a 20 minute drive. And I was like, oh. I can't, I can't. And Jeff was like, I don't think I can go. And I was like, we're going to freshen up. He drove the whole way down. I was like, I'll drive to welcome drinks. We're going to go. Because also it was like 730. And I'm like, what are we going to do? Sit in our hotel room until we fall asleep? Like Bachelor's is- on. Um, <laughs> but but uh, let me ask you this. Was the hotel you were staying in where most people were staying? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, you know, Jeff makes me laugh, but he kept being like, it was my friend Charlie's wedding. He kept being like, I got some notes for Charlie. (laughs) But then the welcome drinks were were so lovely. And uh, Charlie and I were on a couple sketch teams together. We also knew each other as kids. Sketch teams. The Truce and Thriller. Truce or Truth? The Truce. With a C E. Oh, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, with a C. Yeah. Truce. Uh Yeah, I don't. 
my yeah. Uh, like you guys had a big argument about what to name the team, and finally you were like, "Okay, guys, let's just." Yeah, I feel like out. you've made this exact joke <laughs> about <laughs> the truth. Before. How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> We like haven't been a team. IO has been closed for like. So oh, this years. was IO stuff. Yeah, well, that was the only yeah. place you ever did sketch, right? Was IO? Yeah, 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 yeah. IO, what a what a yeah. Um, what a weird place. Relic of the past. I mean, I spent so much time there. You know. <laughs> Me too. Well, that was what was also. Right, but you were being productive and doing shows. I was just drinking in the bar. Oh yeah, that's that is weird. <laughs> <laughs> But um, when I, I took way, Abby- folks, Welcome back to America's Best Sober Podcast. <laughs> I took Abby out for lunch in Hollywood because I wanted us to be on a rooftop because it was nice weather. Huh? And it was so close to IO. And that's such a weird neighborhood. And it's weird that I spent so much of my I life live, there. Basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that exact strip, though. It's just like nightclub, nightclub. Yeah. Um, because you're up up in the Hollywood Hills. You're with the high in the Hollywood Hills at an undisclosed yes, location. Yes, yes. Well, if you wanted to elevate it, you might say up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I live up in the Hollywood Hills in a place nobody knows where it is. Oh, you mean <laughs> an undisclosed location? Sure, sure. Yeah, if you want to be like simple about it. Yeah. But uh, but so there were several people from the truce at the wedding that I haven't seen in so long. Like we were trying to keep in contact, but it just life happens. And, and um, we hadn't seen each other in a while. And so we were all super happy to see each other. We had a really fun time, some good dancing. And you guys have uh, a bond. Yeah. And a contract, like a truce. You guys made a truce together. <laughs> yes. Yes. But um there was an after party at the wedding we were staying at the hotel we were staying at. And that's like, a- there was after party after the wedding. After the party, there was an after party. Well, okay. I- I'm, I'm, I'm going out of order. I will go in order a little bit. So then the, the wedding day comes, I spend the day in the pool at the hotel. Super excited about that. I ha- I got almost no pool time this summer. I like the pool. That was fun. Did you get a Caesar salad by any chance? I didn't. <laughs> I did get chili quiles, though. Did you sit on the <laughs> steps where you weren't supposed to? <laughs> no, there was plenty of seating here. Uh-huh. Um, and then we got ready for the wedding, and we had to be ready at 3.30 to get on a shuttle to get to the wedding. They said, you cannot drive to the wedding. You cannot take a lift to the wedding. You cannot have someone drop you off. You have to go on the shuttle. And we're Why like, was that? I don't know. And so we get on the shuttle and I'm like, surely they're taking us. I I know. I know what's going to happen. Really close. The wedding was on the shuttle, correct? (laughs) No, the wedding. It was like 35 minute drive into Mm. the desert. And I was like, what is happening? But, um, then we all had to shuttle back to the hotel after the wedding. The wedding was great, but it was like um, just in a neighborhood. It was very strange. It was just in a neighborhood. And that's why we had to take a shuttle because they didn't, neighbors didn't want cars there. But there was also a security card posted up. No one in, no one out of the wedding venue. So I was like, okay, I hope I don't have an emergency. So we took a shuttle back to the hotel. And then there was an after party at the bar at the hotel and so then it was like okay now it makes sense why we're staying here because like every event i was like we're nowhere near this hotel why are we all at this hotel and could you take an uber from the hotel to the after party yeah but it wouldn't take very long (laughs) (laughs) okay truce fine (laughs) but um so there was like a little bar there and it was playing dance music from like the 2000s extremely loud and i was going nuts i love a dance love to dance at weddings and so i was like sweating losing my mind i also like a lot of my friends were dancing but sometimes they weren't and so it was just like i was dancing with strangers like let's do this you know and cake you know cake <laughs> i do know cake but um 
I guess all of my stories are just like, I went to a wedding and I danced. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I hear Cake is doing a wedding tour. They're going from wedding to wedding. Ah, yes. Um, but then my friends, because I, I didn't like broadcast the fact that I wasn't drinking, but then it became clear and they were like, you're dancing like a lunatic and you're stone cold sober. And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't, possible. I don't see that as contradictory, you know, like, I feel like if you, well, some people dance, need, need their inhibitions, the inhibitions yeah. yeah, but I don't have that problem. Yeah. See, the next time I go to a wedding, I'm going to dance like crazy because when I was drinking, I would be like, Oh, I don't want to look like a fool and have people go, Oh, that guy. Oh, he's so drunk. But now I'll be like, what's up motherfuckers. Check me <laughs> out. I'm doing the worm, you know, like, what <laughs> Um, you haven't done it in a while, but there was a phase that like you would just constantly tell me what a good dancer you were over true. and over again. It is true. <laughs> I still have yet to <laughs> see the somebody already, <laughs> somebody already commented on my TikTok. They were like, and I'm sure it's somebody who listens to this show. Uh-huh. I think they even said in the comment, like big low show po fan, but they were like, you should record these, but while you're doing a silly dance. <laughs> That's true. I know. I'm like, yeah. Hop on those TikTok trends. Um, I'm but- make an appointment to write every day. and <laughs> I like it. I'll click on it. Um, but yeah, it, it's also super because Palm Springs is so dry. It's the desert. It was so nice to wake up and not feel like absolute garbage. I was still thirsty, but like, I was like, I can't imagine if I drank last night. Oh my God. Yes. Like you would just be like, Oh yeah. And then having to drive home in the sun, like, no, thank you. Yeah. I mean, I don't even really remember, but both times I went to Palm Springs, I definitely was completely hung over the next day when I went, or I think we were there for two days when we did the long shot maybe. And, uh, being in a dry atmosphere like that just makes it 50 times worse. It's crazy. It being I mean, podcast, so. we, we brought in like Jeff and I brought in jugs of water because mm-hmm. why not? And, and we went through it all. Like, have you yeah. ever been to the top of the thing in Palm Springs? No, time? we were just talking about that. Have you, you I said have. you had. Yeah, I have, and I I loved it, and I have a fantasy at some point uh, about a pinup mop. No, I have a fantasy. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I have a fantasy of shooting a scene on the tram. Well, no, 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 yeah. on the tram as because it's this big round thing that turns the entire time you're going up and it goes really steeply up the side of the map. It just, it's so cool. And obviously the Palm Springs itself is very flat at the desert floor. Mm-hmm. And so you can see everything. There's like three towns in the area. You could see all of them. It's just a very spectacular oh, that's awesome. vista, as they say in advanced English. <laughs> you know, it's, a nice- it's a good view. You know, <laughs> it's a spectacular panorama. Um, so you made it through. I made it through, and um, there was an eight-month pregnant woman at the wedding that I did not know, and um, we were just waiting in line for the bathroom together at the wedding, and somebody asked her, "What's your uh-huh. due date?" Wait, what? Well, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> correct. Uh, asked her what her due date was. And she said, November 24th. And I was like, <laughs> that's my birthday. Like complete stranger who's like sweating profusely from dancing. She's like, okay. <laughs> like, it's going to be weird. <laughs> uh, did you guys talk a lot about old sketches? Totally. And, and I don't know if you have this, but. I'm realizing my memory isn't so hot. Like there's certain things I hold on to, but I my brain only has so much space. So it just like every once in a while, c- control, alt, delete. So they would bring up sketches that I'd be like, oh, that sounds kind of vaguely familiar. Like what was the premise? 
And they'd be like, you wrote it, Amber. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Was it, uh, was it cardboard laptop? It was not. It was not. But um, we were all laughing about how, like, it, Karen, she's your, she's a friend of yours as well. Karen was there. We were hanging out at the wedding the whole time. And um, she, she made me laugh because she made the point. She's like, I took it so seriously. I spent so much money on writing classes and um, I took my craft really seriously and rewrites and rewrites and, and um, my acting choices and all the money I spent on props and costumes and wigs. And she's like, the thing that I remember the most is the time that Charlie, the, the chair slightly came apart while Charlie was doing a scene and we laughed for 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> like that's all I took away from this yeah. whole experience. But yeah. yeah. There are certain things that stand out in your mind. I mean, I don't have that with a sketch group because I was never in a sketch group for that long, but certainly with improv stuff. And one of the problems for me is that other people remember stuff you did and you remember stuff other people. That's exactly it. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I have no recollection of that, but I do remember the time that you told me to get down on my knees and let me let you ride me like a horse. I'll never forget that. <laughs> and then nobody edited the scene, so I had to. <laughs> You're like my knees. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's for sure. Uh, oh my god! Well, that's fun. That's fun. And it was uh, super fun. You now those guys are married. And did they have? Did they were they? Do they ever? Do they ever? Uh, they're a couple, and do they ever fight with each other? I don't know, maybe. Even if they do, maybe they should declare. Oh, yes. They and they both had very funny vows. Uh -huh. Charlie started his with like, I am so excited to smooch you for the very first time later today. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very Charlie's sense of humor. Uh -huh. And we laughed very hard. Uh well. It seems to me like we have gotten to a point in the show that we like to call parting shots. So why don't we start today? Let's flip it around and do Amber mm -hmm. first. So Amber, okay, great. parting shots. Or no, wait, I'll go first. So we keep oh. it. In. Okay. Um, and I don't, I don't have a ton, uh, but I just, I saw an ad on TV last night. Like, I feel like entertainment culture is going down the tubes, you know? And I don't say that because it's television. But apparently there was an article today in the AV Club all about how uh, Martin Scorsese is a crotchety old man who just hates new things because they're new and they're, they're cool and he doesn't like that. And, you know, he because he's he's famously spoken out about how. Right. He doesn't like the Avengers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this article totally took the side of the Marvel movies and was like, Scorsese is an idiot. He doesn't, you know, and it's just like this is like one of the most influential filmmakers of film. You know, he's up right. there with I don't know who. Uh you know, Chaplin and Kenneth Branagh, who did all the Hercule, Hercule Branagh. <laughs> I always lump those three together and I yeah. always confuse them. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so I saw an ad last night for a new TV show that's starting. Okay. It's called NCIS Sydney. So they are now doing, I don't know how many, this has got to be at least the fifth or sixth version of NCIS, but it's in Sydney, Australia, for some reason, I'm assuming. Although then I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I would actually like this show. If, if it was just like Sydney, Iowa or something. No, no, no. I was going to say, <laughs> everybody, everybody in the show was named Sydney. Like just, oh, that's you know, cool. Sydney could be a man yeah. or a woman's name. Right, and every killer is named Sydney, but which Sydney? Right, and just so just every line of dialogue is like Sydney. Did you see that Sydney <laughs> had Sydney do the thing with Sydney? That's so good. That would be interesting, but it just it it depressed me to see that that's what 
the big new CBS fall show. And I know CBS is for old people and all that stuff, but like, mm -hmm. come on, let's make something a little bit original. And I'm going to talk about that on my TikTok, Sean Conroy Wright, not like Right Aid, not like Rufus Wainwright, <laughs> not like the Wright brothers, not like, not like Wrong or Right. Party. Yeah. 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 Um, so anyway, that's all I have. How about you? I'm going to talk about another day on my vacation. Great. <laughs> I, um, my friend Whitney moved down to Laguna and I had a beach day with her and it was so nice. I think in the past I've gone to Laguna on like weekends and it's really madness and it's hard to find parking, but going on a Thursday, like I had street parking right next to the beach we were going to. Um, I beat her there. I didn't expect to. So I was just set up camp and started reading a book. And she took some pictures from like, it's Laguna. So it's all cliffs and you have to go downstairs to get to a beach. So she took pictures without like me. A nightmare. It's very beautiful. It's crazy pretty. Um, so she took pictures of me reading without me knowing it. And then it was just really nice to spend. You didn't know you were reading? Without, I didn't, yeah, I was like, what is this? How come these words are, these thoughts are coming into my mind? I never thought of this before. Um, it was just really nice to spend one-on-one -on -one time with her and be at a beautiful beach. And she's always, um, she moved down to Laguna at the height of COVID for, for a lot of reasons. And um, so she's like, what, where should I go next and what should I do? And I kind of want to move back to LA, but it's now too expensive for me to move back to LA because now I live five minutes away from the beach and my rent is cheaper than it, it is like it, it anyway, she has a lot of, she's torn about where to go. And so I was just like, this is spectacularly beautiful. And I know this isn't permanent and you, you might, this might all change tomorrow, but I hope that you're at least slightly appreciating the life that you're living right now because it is, it's pretty cool. It's like she lives in a vacation town. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of the dream to live by the beach or, or my dream anyway, you know? Same. Yeah. Um, and how far is it to Laguna? Like how long does it take to get down there on the, on the weekday like that? It wasn't too bad. I want to say it took me maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Coming home was like four hours or something ridiculous. I was like, it'll be fine. And it was not fine. But that's because you parked at the hotel before you went to your right. house. Well, it was because I was driving back to LA like during rush hour. But silly me, I thought like, oh, rush hour is everyone from LA coming back south. I won't hit anything. But they figured out a way to be traffic -y every direction. That's uh, that's the world we live in, folks. There's traffic everywhere. Uh, shout out to Whitney. I was just you know looking Whitney? at an email I had from Whitney. Oh, really? Like 13 years ago or something. Like she was. Oh my god. She was helping me out with some writer's assistant stuff, and uh, she was she was really great. She's a, she's amazing, and she's gonna have her second child in November. 24th? Nope. I wish. Let's do that. Yeah, the kid's going to be a Scorpio, but it's okay. We need Scorpios. Well, do we? We do. do. We do. I guess we do. But Sagittarius is are so fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. That is our show, folks. That is the Long Shot Podcast for the week of October 16th. 2023 thank you so much for listening anything else amber before we go i don't think so i i feel like we we touched on it last week we're not really talking about the world yeah elephants in the room but i personally don't feel like an expert on the topic and i don't feel like i, I need to be voicing my opinion other than like sending love and support. And that sounds so cheesy and lame, but I think, I think you know what I'm getting at. Like, I, do, I, I, do. I don't have anything to add to the discourse. That's exactly right. And I was thinking about that. Cause I, I, you know, I 
won't even go so far as to say uh, I don't I don't know that much about it. I know I'm so you know everything. No, no, no. I have some <laughs> opinions that are so uneducated about as with everything in the world. I have very right. strong opinions with absolutely nothing to back them up. Um, and as you have seen many times on this show, I will get into my opinion right from the beginning and be very right. strident about it and whatever. Uh, but I was thinking about it today and I was like, I think there's enough of that going on everywhere right now that we don't need to do it on this show. But obviously we're both thinking about that stuff and, and hoping, hoping for the best, you know? Um, okay. Well, well, do you want to get into it a little bit? No, <laughs> let's solve it. <laughs> you and me right here. Folks, this has been the long shot. Please like, and subscribe to the podcast. Find it on the ch- our channel. Sean Conroy gets happier. Your TikTok. Follow, follow me on TikTok. Follow Amber on Twitter. Oh, and, you know, on I TikTok. Did. I saw that you followed me on TikTok. <laughs> I so, did. Uh, you can see some smudgy videos. Oh, There's not a lot on there. And uh, we'll see you next time on The Long Shot. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, now I have to turn this thing off. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Darling, if you ever go, well, I'll tell you nothing because nothing's what I know. And I'll beat my door until the paint turns black and blue. Oh, and babe, I'm gonna cry all over you. Of a million people fainting And some evil do her tainting Everything that is alive And I forgot the point of cursing And I'm no good at conversing If my condition ever worsens Then I'll probably not survive And if you leave, darling, if you ever split well, I'll give a damn, hell I'll even give a shit And I'm gonna worry, cause there's nothing left to do Oh and babe, I'm gonna cry all over you Yes and babe, I'm gonna cry Oh and babe, I'm gonna cry Yes and babe, I'm gonna cry all over you Thank you.